Now let's have another example. In a group of 120 students, 68 had ridden a bus, 78 had ridden the LRT, 33 had ridden a jeep, while 40 had ridden both the bus and the LRT, 20 had ridden the bus and the jeep, 19 had ridden the LRT and the jeep, and 15 had ridden the bus, the LRT, and the jeep. Now the questions, how many had ridden the bus only? How many had ridden the LRT only? How many had ridden the jeep only? How many did not ride on any of the three modes of transportation? For our first step, we have to determine what is given and what are being asked. I have some tips for you. You have to write it one at a time just to make sure that you jot down the correct given facts since we have a lot of them. Now for our given facts. First, the cardinality of set B union set L union set J is equal to 120. I used the capital letter B for a bus. I used the capital letter L for LRT and I used the capital letter J for G. Now for the second given fact, we have the cardinality of the students who rode the bus that is equal to 68. For a third given fact, we have the cardinality of the student who rode the LRT that is 78. Next, the cardinality of set J that is equal to 33. The cardinality of set B intersect set L is equal to 40 because we use intersection for the word AND. The next given fact is the cardinality of set B intersect set J is equal to 20. The cardinality of set L intersect set J is equal to 19. And the cardinality of set B intersect set L intersect set J is equal to 15. What is asked? The students who have ridden the bus only, students who have ridden the LRT only, students who have ridden the Jeep only, and finally, the students who didn't ride any of the three modes of transportation. Now for our second step, we have to illustrate using the Venn diagram if possible. Our solution, now let's have the given facts and what is asked to remind us what to put in the Venn diagram. We have the Venn diagram. The upper left circle is for the students who rode the LRT. The upper right circle is for the students who rode the bus. And for the lower circle, that is the circle for the students who rode the jeep. Now my tip for you is we start with the given fact with the most number of intersections. That is the cardinality of set B intersect set L intersect set J that is equal to 15. We can find that in the last part of our given facts. We start with 15. Since it has the most number of intersections, we put it in the innermost part of our Venn diagram. We have 15. Next, we have the cardinality of set L intersect set J that is equal to 19. Now we will find which part of the Venn diagram where the LRT and the Jeep intersects. That is on the lower left side of the number 15. We have 19 minus 15 is equal to 4. Next, for the cardinality of set B intersect set J that is equal to 20, again we find which part of the Venn diagram the bus and the jeep intersects. That is on the lower right side of the number 15. We subtract 15 from 20, that is equal to 5. Next, the cardinality of set B intersect set L, that is equal to 40. 
The intersection of the LRT and the bus is on the upper side of the number 15. Now 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. The cardinality of set J is equal to 33. Now we find the circle that contains the students that wrote the G. Now in this circle, we can find the number 4, 15, and 5. We add that up, that is equal to 24, and we subtract it from 33, giving us 9. Next, the cardinality of set L is equal to 78. Now we find the circle that contains LRT, and then we add up all the numbers in the circle. We have 25 plus 15 plus 4 is equal to 44. Now we have 78 minus 44 is equal to 34. The cardinality of set B is equal to 68. Finding the circle that contains the students that rode the bus, we can find the numbers 25, 15, and 5. Now adding up, the total is 25 plus 15 plus 5 is equal to 45. 68 minus 45, that is equal to 23. Now that we have completed our Venn diagram, I want you to add up all the numbers in the circle containing LRT. That is 34 plus 25 plus 15 plus 4. Now the cardinality of set L is equal to 78. That is correct. Next, add up all the numbers you can find in the circle containing the bus. Now 25 plus 23 plus 15 plus 5 is equal to 68. That is also correct. And for the last one, we have to find the circle containing the word Jeep and add up all the numbers in it. We have 4 plus 9 plus 5 plus 15, which is equal to 33. I was talking about the cardinality in the given facts just to verify and check if your answers are correct. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Next, we have to put the Venn diagram again so that we will not forget the numbers that we have computed earlier. And then our simplified variables. And then our given facts. Now for the operations to be used, BLJ is equal to the cardinality of B intercept L intercept J. BL is equal to the cardinality of B intersect L minus BLJ. JB is equal to the cardinality of J intersect B minus BLJ. LJ is equal to the cardinality of L intercept J minus BLJ. B is equal to cardinality of set B minus BLJ minus BL minus JB. L is equal to cardinality of set L minus BLJ minus BL minus LJ. J is equal to the cardinality of set J minus BLJ minus JB minus LJ. And X is equal to 120 minus BLJ minus BL minus JB minus LJ minus B minus L minus J. Now for our fourth step, use the operations. This is our Venn diagram. These are the given facts. These are the variables that we are going to use. Now for the first one, we have BLJ that is equal to the cardinality of B intercept L intercept J that is equal to 15 that is already given. Next, BL is equal to the cardinality of set B intercept set L minus BLJ. Now, to substitute the first term, we can find that in our given facts. And to substitute the second term, we can find that in our first computation. Now, 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. JB is equal to the 
cardinality of set J intersect set B minus BLJ. We can find the substitution of the first term in our given facts and then the substitution for our second term in our first computation. That is 20 minus 15, that is equal to 5. For LJ, we have the cardinality of L intersect J minus BLJ. Again, we can find the substitution of our first term in our given facts and for our second term that is already computed in our first computation, that is 15. Now, 19 minus 15 is equal to 4. Now, for our next computation, we will be needing the first four computations that we have done earlier. Let's find B. That is equal to the cardinality of set B minus BLJ minus BL minus JB. That is equal to the cardinality of set B is already given. That is 68. BLJ is computed earlier. That is 15. BL was also computed earlier. That is 25. JB was also computed earlier. That is equal to 5. five. Now, 68 minus 15 minus 25 minus 5 is equal to 23. L is equal to the cardinality of set L minus BLJ minus BL minus LJ. That is equal to 78 minus 15 minus 25 minus 4. That is equal to 34. J, that is read as students that had written the chief only. We have the cardinality of set J minus BLJ minus JB minus LJ. That is equal to 33 minus 15 minus 5 minus 4. That is equal to 9. And X, that is equal to 120 minus BLJ minus BL minus JB minus LJ minus B minus L minus J is equal to 120 minus 15 minus 25 minus 5, minus 4, minus 23, minus 34, minus 9 is equal to 5. Now, for our last step, we have to answer the questions being asked. These are our variables used. These are our solutions. And for our first question, how many had written the bus only? The answer is 23. For second question, how many had written the LRT only? The answer is 34. For third question, how many had written the Jeep only? The answer is 9. For our last question, how many did not write in any of three modes of transportation? The answer is 5. Now, I would like to remind you all that even without doing the computation that we have done in step 4, you will still be able to answer all the questions being asked using the Venn diagram that we have done earlier in our step 2 and step 3 of the process. Now, to find how many had written the bus only, we have to look for the circle in the Venn diagram that contains the word bus and find the part of the circle that did not intersect the two other circles, we can find there the number 23 that is the answer to our first question. For the second question, how many had written the LRT, we have to find the circle in the Venn diagram containing the words LRT and find the part of the circle that did not intersect with any of the two circles, we can find the number 34. And that is the answer for the second question. For the third question, how many had written the chip only? The answer is 9. And then for the last question, how many did not try it on any of the three modes of transportation? The easier way to do this is to just add all the numbers you can find in the Venn diagram 
and then subtract it from the total number of students given. That is 120 less all the numbers in the Venn diagram. Now the total of the numbers in the Venn diagram is 115. 120 minus 115 is equal to 5. You can review how I filled up the Venn diagram again and again and again for you to fully understand how we write the numbers there and why we write the numbers there. Stay tuned for my next video.